let's see how this is going. Alright, it says I'm live. I am. Okay. Um, I'm going to stream for a bit. I do got to take a phone call, so it may be a divided up stream today. I don't want to leave for too long of a pause, but um, I figured I'd get caught up on a few hours. Um, so, um, I am expecting to have to take a call, but I will just mute and probably continue playing through it. It is what it is, so let's uh, pick up where we left off and see how it goes today. Hopefully we won't have any interruptions in the Wi-Fi, um, even though we have all this crazy weather from that hurricane. Um, fingers crossed it'll go good. Um, everything should go good. Fingers crossed. I don't want to repeat of yesterday, and I sure am not going to accidentally knock that surge protector button and shut everything off on myself again. I will not do that. But we're seeing how it goes, so let's get started. Where am I going? Yeah. That way. <clears throat> oh. You! I know you see me. I'm That's ignoring not. you. Can't see. Like my uncle? That's not that wicked me. Oven must be In an alleyway or something. <laughs> now that's for dumb. But it says I need to go there. Oh no, I already did that. The way to Baron Light is clear. Oh. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when says. I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing, and waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Light, buddies. Like Aloy said, captain's orders. You can stay here. <laughs> Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Sounds like somebody needs to get his feet and get that pedicure and all that. Shoulders. Because it's a game. Like, does your hair go through your shoulder bone and flash? Am I a game? Are you? No. She's a piece. Well, 
Now that that's done, the embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down Silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a Gaia backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the Daunt some more first. And maybe take Petra up on that drink. I'm still waiting for you to finish that fascinating story. You have to bring it up, huh? Just look at her go. I want a horse. Make my life easier. Ignoring me again? What? Oh, <sighs> we knows. How goes it, Hammerhead? I I'm sorry. I'll be right with you. Uh. Okay. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. Oh, just stop talking. <laughs> Where are we? Were you <clears throat> so, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I. Uh, Could you just not? I am with a customer. I. I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder, it'll blow a strider sky high. Ba boom. One shot kill, guaranteed. <sighs> Uh, maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower? Uh-huh. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it, and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely, with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That... could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to meet the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need... Charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fanghorn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. Again. Um. This said E. Ignoring me again? I don't know. Where the hell are yeah. you? Got work to do. No. That's west. This should be east. Psst. Yeah, you. Not again. That's her, huh? Is she the Empress? Because I'm a dumbass. Doing it the hard way. I'm telling you, I thought I took a whole bunch of machines. 
survive the next round. To the claim! If I were a sober man, I would salute you. What am I gonna do? Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wilds. Kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hold. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. So I gotta dishes. make a griddle. This will be I fun. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle... A uh, corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And <laughs> don't let anyone push you around, okay? Society these days. If you say so. Is not much different than in the game. Okay. Okay. Well, since you're standing, ah, Savior, over here. I'll take the usual. Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure. Olvan's bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the dawn? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry, but unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. You said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside he took off and ran all the way here good place to start looking then if you learn the truth maybe Olvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding barren light instead <laughs> Aloy, change your mind about come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <laughs> 
That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad up. since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. If you hey, don't mom. put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that Not game ends. Not right now. Are they even opened? No. Anyway. Okay, leave it be. Right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. Ugh. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow card your refugees. Uh, yeah, if you could what make that. What are they that, doing in the dump? Then... Mm, head southwest to here, and therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs <coughs> last week, and Tallinn Clean Brokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch, but overall they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Tallinn. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else. Oh. Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. This Tallinn guy might still be in chain scrape. I could have a word with him first. Okay. Um. Little too close to the west for my red hair's unmistakable. She's the one that gave those bristles. Lesson with the bristle that almost hit my arm off on the way. Okay. I might be getting that call any second. I'm waiting to see what's happening. And, uh, we're gonna go from there. So I might be muted for a few, but I will still be... Oh. I'm going the wrong way. Easy there, Red. How do I get out of here? I am so lost. One, don't call me stupid. And two, I don't know. I didn't put it there. Okay. It appears I'm going in the right-ish direction. Remedies for nope. all who need them. How do I get out of here? I'm lost. How do I get... Oh, is that out? I think I found out. Yay! Daylight! Okay. And now I'm going in the wrong direction. Oh, there! You know what we need? A proper survey of the valley. <laughs> laughing about it. We already got mad. Like you mean it. You call it I meant to ask, how did you do in the fighting pit? What do you like to know? I could get around faster if I find a charger to override. Wait, what am I doing? I can override one of these chargers. I have to go on quiet so I don't spook the herd.
Oh, no, no, no. No, we're not doing that. Um, how do I get on him? Um... Okay, now how do I go get on this thing? Okay, there we go. What the heck is that? Or why the heck is that? It's my horse. I got a horse. It's a mechanical monstrosity. Okay, it's a mechanical bull. Wait, is that what you were talking about earlier? Okay. I'm trying to remember what, what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I, oh, now I remember. I was supposed to go kill a few more of these things. No, is that you, the bulls you were talking about earlier? Yeah. I think I just killed my ride. How could you? Well, that was an accident. Now you have to harvest it and um, eat it. Oops, I just spelled that wrong. I can't believe I accidentally just killed my ride. I did not mean to kill my ride. Okay, I'm supposed to do something up there, according to this. Oh, something's coming at me. Oh, my ride's over there. Okay. I didn't kill it. That's good news.
Welcome, Outlander. Okay. Oh shit, I killed my... Wow. How do you keep doing that? I think you're tired of telling them. I keep killing my horse! Okay, it ran away. Okay. Okay, now I'm getting the hang of it. I forgot my um, light. controller panel the last part of the sun a little bit for the forbidden west. Uh, Karja Horn. Maybe that means the embassy starting soon. I should dismount. All right, I should find whoever's in charge here. But first, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around too. There's errand. That looks like he's had a few. Lighten up, Pai. You've got a thick wall of stone. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. She can't ever Let get, me through the gates then. Get through what I have she my own business with them. I'm mm -hmm. sure you do. But I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. Hold on one second, folks. Okay. Where is this Commander Nozar then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. Oh, 
Hold on, I'll take folks. you to him, but I have to warn you. The commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and change scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. 